a long time ago when I was just a kid, I worked in a big shop and we had uh, slotters, that mean uh, vertical shapers. And we did uh, keyways and fan hubs and all kinds of hubs, couplings, and you guys are familiar with that kind of work. But the thing was, the tool room was always too, I put this in quotes, busy to grind up the uh, broach to the uh, keyway cutting tools. So the lead man on the job, he designed a block like this. And uh, this has all the angles built in. You can just, we, we had a big, what was it, like a 36 inch planchard and an 18 inch planchard. And he could uh, clamp this on the table, turn the magnet on, run the wheel in, and put all the cutting edges in with the blanchard. He didn't need a tool and cutter grinder. It had all the clearances built in. You can see that uh, built on a taper this way, it's bigger, which gives you a clearance. Angles the side down, so it's going to cut more off the side here. You flip it over, cut the other side, flip it up, you can cut the top, it gives you a little bit of rake. And you flip it up like this and grind the top off, it gives you front clearance. And uh, that's something stuck with me for a long time. Where I work now, they get parts rotor rapid prototyped and sometimes they don't finish the job. They go as deep as their cutters can go. And this one part I have now in my hands, I don't have it on me, but it has two internal keyways that they've roughed out with end mills and finished as far as they could go, but they're not finished all the way through. So I have to make a broaching tool, that's what this is. This will also, along with uh, cutoff tools, it'll make broaching tools. Because all the clearance <coughs> angles are about the same. But I also made a tool some years ago, and this is for grinding threading tools. It's got all the angles built in too. You see this is, tilts down below straight and it gives you clearance on this side. That's the leading edge usually if you're doing right hand thread. You clean this side up, you flip it over. You clean this side up, that's the back side. And you set it down on the base like this and you can grind the top and it puts a, puts a rake angle on there. And it's not perfect, I know the angles are maybe a hair off, but, but the tolerance on the thread is half half a degree on the side, so I don't think it's half a degree off. And the, the reason it's off is the angles here are right, but when I tilted it down, that's going to throw the angle out a little bit. So um, you don't have to tell me about that, because I know about that. This is a Acme threading tool, same thing. Cut this side to get this angle, then you flip it over. Cut this side to get the other side. Well, you can't very well get the front. You have to do something different with this. There's not enough surface. <clears throat> if you notice on the bottom, it's got... It's not flat. If you clamp it this way, it gives you a little rake angle on this side of the cutter. And then you turn the magnet off, put it this way. It gives you a little bit of rake on this side of the cutter. So that's how that works. And this is for 55 degree the English threads, which I had to grind some threads for somebody once, or I offered to, and I made this up just to have it on hand, but I've never used it again. All right, that's, that's all for now. Here we are on the grinder. This is just a little Delta 12 inch hand grinder. It does what I need to do. It's not a precision thing. I can't do flat within a tenth or anything like that, but it, it does little tool jobs I need. Gotta run it down close. I have to take a little bit more off the height of this thing. And we'll clean it up.
car just did a hand job on that to rough it out. Flip it over, we'll clean the other side up. to go and see where we are in relation to center and try and center it up. All right, here we go. Brochures all lined up, ready to go. Alright, here's the threading tool fixture. Clean up one side and flip it over. Clean up the other side.
left a bunch of material on here. Make a little bit. There you go, one threading tool ground on three sides. Thank you. 